Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Cha Charles got it left and right. <laughs> He got a right, left, up, and down. These people are getting on his behind. He don't know where he's coming, where he's going. Got one allegedly uh, little child out there trying to say he wants representation from the family that the queen is gone. And we got Meghan Markle stepping over her husband saying she needs to talk with her husband, which is King Charles, for a few minutes to clear the air. <laughs> like wait a minute girl slow your horses slow your roll should you not be talking to your husband and having your husband which is prince harry to go talk to king charles which is his dad who gives you the right who gives you to say so that you're gonna go make shit happen when you want it to happen girl haven't you heard you gotta make an appointment and then he can still deny your ass okay he don't care about you making what part did you not understand why the queen was living? He didn't care for you, baby. But anyway, page six brought out a, brought out a beautiful story about uh, Meghan Markle asking for a meeting uh, with King Charles to clear the air before they go back home. Meaning they come back over here to Western America and <clears throat> they go back to California and live their lives freely and inhibited. Okay. Ooh, we got Francesca Bacardi writing it up for us for page six. And she tells us Meghan Markle requested a one on one meeting with Charles, King Charles III, to clear the air, okay, before she and Prince Harry leave the UK, according to a royal reporter. Now, I'm like, who, who is giving this royal reporter the tea? Meghan, you over there trying to leak some stories, honey. Are you over there trying to make it a musical, monumental, audio plus, plus visual moment? Do you got camera crews over there, girl? What, what's going on? What? Tell us, because we want to know. You know you on the lowest totem pole as far as likability within the royal court. Why are you trying to start shit, girl? And why Harry let you do this? I mean, honey, the best you can do is let Camille just work it out, because... His brother don't like you either. But anyway, going back to the article, she says she's now like before they return back to California to have a one-on-one -on -one audience with King Charles III, Neil said in a YouTube video from Sky News. That's right, Megan one-to-one -one with King Charles III. You heard it correctly. <laughs> that must be a like, don't pass, go. Don't even go there. Don't even think it. Just turn around. Turn around out the driveway and just make like you never went up there to the house, okay? That's what is give that's the impression it's giving me that Megan is way off of the deep end trying to mess with Charles. And Charles had allegedly said he didn't want his son Harry to bring uh Megan when the Queen was like taking her last breath or she was on her last couple of hours of being on uh in this realm of world we're in. <clears throat> so, I was like, damn, they don't like you, Megan. What part did you not understand? After you did that interview with Oprah, that was it. You were cut off. Girl, do anybody have to throw you a lifeline? Do we have to send you a clue? Damn, but anyway. Sean claimed his source told him that the Duchess of Sussex, 41, made the request in a formal letter. And that the meeting would serve as an opportunity to clear the air, put the rights from wrongs, and explain some of the rationale behind what they've been doing over the last two years. Sean added, now you have to admire Megan's self-belief, whatever you think. Well, 
child, if y'all been flu feuding for two years, you could just triple that, okay? Because he ain't got time. He already don't want to sign pieces of paper with the ink and the feather we gave him. He don't like stuff cluttered. Even though he probably only had about three or four pieces of paper on his desk. He just not, he just don't want to be bothered. I don't know why they, they elected him to be king. Because he's over. He's retired. In his mind. He can't take it no more. Whoo boy. But anyway. Sean admitted that he had no idea. If the meeting was going to go forward. But doubled down on his assessment. That the suit's alarm was very brave. Meaning Megan. And she was in a show. A sitcom called Suits. All right, I never saw it, but I, you know, I heard about it, <clears throat> but it just didn't interest me. It really didn't. But going back to the article, it says the meeting would come after Marco and Prince Harry, 38, flew to the UK to attend Queen Elizabeth's funeral with the rest of the royal family. While the red-headed royal walked in the procession with the family, he and his wife ultimately got snubbed by being placed in the second row. I'm thinking of the funeral. In honor of the Queen... Marco wore the pearl and diamond earrings the late monarch had gifted her, as well as a different color version of the Stella McCartney dress she wore for her 92nd birthday. The sleek ensemble adhered to the funeral's dress code, which called for black knee-length dresses or coats, along with black hats and optional veils. Okay, well, from what I understand... She might not get it, y'all. She may not. <laughs> if he didn't want her there on his mama deathbed, what do you think he would want to talk to her about? Definitely show show ain't got time for Megan to be telling him anything or what she thinks or how she thinks we should move forward with the family. Child, you did better talking to Camilla Consort, okay? His wife, versus trying to sit up there in front of him. You being a woman, and you think you can come in here and, and, and throw your Western American philosophies on him. <laughs> he said, hell to the no, no, no. Yep, and I'm kind of surprised that Harry would even let her take such a deadly step towards his father. When he kind of knows. How his father is from the get-go. Unless he just don't give a shit. Unless he said, well, baby, I got your back. And if you don't come out, you know, alive, you know, me and the kids will miss you. But I told you don't go mess with my dad. <laughs> but Megan got thick skin. Okay, she got thick skin. Or do she just want whatever she felt she needed or wanted prior to the, well, after the queen died and she didn't get it. Because, you know, all those royal jewels. It's definitely going to miss, uh, what's her name? Kate Middleton? Yes. Mm-hmm. That's a mess. That's a mess. It's a hot mess. But you know what? I don't understand why they don't say their last names, like Prince and Harry's last name. Why do they just associate a title and then their first name? Is that what royal British people do, y'all? For those who are really into the study and... They are very knowledgeable about how the court's supposed to go when you have something like that over there in Britain. Let a sister know. Let your family member know. Okay, but I ain't got no more for this particular subject. I mean, it's just, whoo, I tell you, it's a shame. It's a shame of a scandal. Charles has been batting zero since he got into the kingship, okay? He's been fussing at his staff, fussing about his desk crowd. Fussing about that bloody ink getting on his hands, writing with a feather. Instead of him saying, we finna modernize this. I'm gonna write with this big pen. Yes, this B-I-C pen. And that's how it's gonna go. We're gonna scrap all that feather and, and ink mess going on. No, we ain't, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. For the reign that I have amongst my people, we're not gonna do that. Okay? So, um... <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny. It's just funny to just know these people want to come talk to Charles, and Charles ain't got two shits to give to them, okay? He do not have two shits to give for them, their concerns, their, uh, their problems, their uh, uh, things that they might want to say to him as far as, you know, good cheering words. He just don't want to hear it from nobody. 
And he barely want to hear from Camilla, okay? He just want peace, peace, okay? So they got to really structure his day because he got to have plenty of naps, plenty of playing polo with the guys and, and, and going into the room and smoke cigars and tell lies. And then he can do some formal work for what his uh, title tells him he must do. <laughs> Said, make it sit your ass down. Please sit your overcompensated ass down. And then, as far as the uh, illegitimate son is trying to tell them he want his royal heirs and stuff of that nature when he's 54 years old, I'm like, really? Really, dude? If you didn't have it while the queen was living, your damn show ain't gonna have it now. Okay? But that's all I got. I ain't got no more. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye bye.